Hi everyone, it's Dawn from Crafting on the Green and this is card number four from the January craft kit. So there's two options to make here. I'm only going to show you how to make one, um, but the other one's quite self-explanatory really. Um, so I'm going to make this one today, but if you decide you want to make this one, the only extra you really need to do is to turn it around and add this little chappy in down here. Um, it's, it's very straightforward as you can see. So we're going to make this one and this is using the kangaroo and company stamp set and dies and from your kit you're going to need a whisper white card base the rococo rose mat a whisper white layer and a piece of the dsp oso ombre which you can currently get in the celebration for free so first of all what i'm going to do is stick our layers together um, and then with the glue okay okay so I'm just going to stick the whisper white onto the Rococo rose and then the Rococo rose onto the card base So in your kit you will also find a Bermuda Bay background and that's so that you can do it in this colour. But I thought I'd do this one but in pink. <clears throat> so now that we've got that, you're going to need to find some uh, pink ink. I'm going to use Rococo Rose. And we want to use the Hello Baby stamp. I'm just going to line that one up a little bit straighter. Okay, and what you're going to do is over half of the Whisper White, maybe just over half of it, and we're just going to stamp Hello Baby. Just like so. Now, if you want to make it so it goes off the page, which I might do, best thing to do is use a post-it note and just line it up along the edge just like that so that when you go into stamp it it doesn't get on anything else post-it notes are very handy for a lot of crafty things <clears throat> okay and then I'm going to take the little love heart and I'm going to pop a heart in between each of these greetings there we go now you can put fewer hearts you could put more hearts on my uh, first example i only put one two hearts on there <clears throat> excuse me um but this time i fancied more so it's quite interchangeable you can do as much as you want really now that we've done that <coughs> We're going to cut down, excuse me, cut down our DSP so that it is just as long as this. <clears throat> and the width of this is five and a half. So, I'll get the trimmer. So it's five and a half inches. So, we want to decide which way we're going to go. So, I'm going to cut it here. And then I'm going to cut it at two inches. That's going to be just over half. And I've gone for the slightly darker end of the, uh, the ombre effect. I'll keep moving my paper around today. Make sure we're still in shot. And what we're going to do is just stick that on there. Nice and straightforward. Straightforward if the glue comes out, that is. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to line that up. Just like that. 
So now we've got roughly half and half. Okay, so that's the first bit done. Now we want to take a scrap piece of Whisper White and we are going to stamp, colour and cut out our kangaroos. Oh, try not to put your finger in the ink. So we're going to start with the large kangaroo. In front. We'll do it that way around. Make sure it's well covered. There we go. And I'm going to stamp a, a little one as well. <clears throat> so I'm going to use light and dark crumb cake to colour these in. Just like all the other kangaroos. You can get more creative, you can use different browns, you could use different colours. I know they're probably more grey at times, aren't they? But I do love the crumb cake colours. So normally I would use my brush side of my dark crumb cake pen. However, I managed to damage it by pressing too hard. So I'm waiting for a replacement because I love the brush side. But because it has two sides, it's fine and it doesn't matter. I can still carry on. It colours just as well. Nearly done the big kangaroo. Lots of curves in this one. There we go. And let's just colour in this little cheeky chappy. Really does make for such an adorable new baby card. Okay, now I'm going to, as normal, use light Rococo Rose for a nose. And I'm going to use light petal pink for the inside of the ears. There we go. Right, now I'll to die cut these out. So, kangaroo. Okay. Some runaway dies. Okay. 
So what we're going to do is tuck him slightly into the pouch like this. I'm going to pop a little spot of glue on the back. Now what you can do if you find it easier is you could cut out the tab that comes with the uh, the dies, uh, which looks like looks like this. So then you can attach that onto the bottom of him, um, or you can just tuck him in, whichever way you prefer. And then we're gonna pop some more glue over the kangaroo. Bring back in the card. And pop that about there. So the reason I haven't stuck the top of the baby kangaroo is because I want it to look like he's sticking out a bit. Um, so. And there we go. That's it really. Um, on this card I did add some grass, which is also a stamp that you get with the set. Um, I wanted to show you what it would look like if you covered the bottom in grass, so um, that's what you know for that one. Um, but otherwise, I think it's just a very straightforward, very cute little, little card. So there we go, that's card number four of your January craft kit. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will see you again shortly for project number five. Bye bye.